find the derivative of this function, solution. So when we take the derivative of the natural log of x, the formula says that that is equal to 1 over x. So if we use that formula here, it would be 1 over all of this stuff. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of all of this stuff, which is a product rule and a chain rule. So it's a really good idea, uh, whenever you have a problem with logs, to first see if you can break it up. In this case, we can. We can first use the product rule for, for logs. So here it's the natural log of t times this stuff. So that's ln t plus ln t squared plus 3 cubed. All right, we can break it up because it's a product. Then you can take the 3 and you can put it in the front. So this is y equals natural log of t plus 3 natural log t squared plus 3. That's the power rule for logs. And now we're ready to take the derivative. So y prime, the derivative of ln t is 1 over t. And the derivative here, well, the 3 hangs out. And it's 1 over t squared plus 3 times the chain rule, derivative of the inside, so 2t. The last thing to do is multiply the 3 and the 2t. So you get y prime equals 1 over t plus 6t over t squared plus 3. So recap, step one, you want to rewrite it using the product rule for logs, right? That says if you have ln of x, y, that's equal to ln of x plus ln of y. That's the product rule for logs. Then we put the 3 in the front. That's the power rule for logs. Then we just take the derivative. The derivative of ln t is 1 over t, which is here. This derivative is 1 over this times the derivative of the inside, which is 2t. Then you multiply the 3 and the 2t, and you get 6t. That's it.